All right, a quick seated range of motion series for our shoulders and also to our neck. So what you're gonna do is you can sit at the edge of a couch, you can sit at the edge of a chair, whatever it might be. We're just gonna start with scapular controlled articular rotations. So we have our shoulders and from here, we're gonna shrug up nice and high, pull them back and then right through the back of our shoulder blades down and in. Come forward again, up, back, down and in. We'll go for five, up, back, down and in, good, and two more, up, back, down, and in, good, and last one, up, big shrug, pull back, down, and in, beautiful. From here, we're gonna do the same thing, just for our neck, you're gonna pretend like you have a little dot at the top of your head, you're gonna try and draw as big of a circle as you can, so I got my chin tucked, I'm gonna go right here, right shoulder, Lean that head all the way back. Left ear, left shoulder. Around. And in one again, and then again. Out. Around. Back. And in two. Out. Around. Back. In three, and we'll go two more. Out, good. You wanna try and go not too quick with it. And with each rep, just a little bit deeper and deeper if you can. If you got any sticking, cracking points, just go a bit slower through those areas. One more, out, around, back, good. From here, let's switch to the other side. Out, around, back, and one. Good, out, around, back, two, good. And out, around, back, three, good, and two more, out, around, back, four, good, great job, out, around, back, five, awesome. Okay, with that, we're gonna get into some stretching activating sequences. We're gonna start with our neck, particularly upper trap, this muscle right here, this segment, the more our upper trap gets tight, the more it could cause dysfunction for our neck and also to our shoulders. So it's very important to stretch this area. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lean, we're gonna try and bring, I'm gonna stretch out the left side, bring my right ear to my right shoulder. And we're gonna take a couple deep breaths. You do wanna have some type of anchor. It doesn't have to be this far away. It could be right under you. You could also, too, just sit right underneath and then hold out. You'll feel that stretch and you wanna feel it sort of back and deep. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch down and then stretch away as well. So it's down and away. And just hold it. Big breath in. And as you breathe out, just see if you can get a little bit deeper. And big breath in. And out. Big breath in. And out. One more, big breath in. Good, nice and deep if you can. And then just slowly lift back up. Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're now gonna try and activate this little extra range of motion that we've got. And what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna bring your neck down all the way and you're gonna lengthen through that trap and I'm just gonna slowly guide with my hand, maybe like a centimeter or two of extra range of motion, but also to just putting a light pressure into my hand so that these muscles stay on to help protect our neck as much as we can. So you might wanna watch this first one here or you can follow along. I'm just gonna lean out. Nothing's coming through my hand right now until I get to the bottom here and just a light pressure and just increase that range of motion and hold it for three, two, one, now I'm gonna come out, I'm keeping that pressure. And then same thing, let's lean back nice and strong. 
Good. And apply. Hold it. Three, two, one, two. Little lean back. Good. Keeping that pressure on the way back. And then we just relax a little bit and come out. Now apply. Hold it. Three, two, one. Good. Keep that pressure there. Beautiful. Now we'll switch to the other side. Same idea. Hand comes underneath. Just a good stretch. Big breath in. And a little deeper if you can with that stretch. Good. Big breath in. And down. Big breath in. Down. And last one. Big breath in. Down. Good. Now keep that pressure a little bit. Just slowly come out of it. Awesome, and from here, here we go. We're gonna lower down, just relaxing, apply a little pressure, try and get a little deep, hold that contraction. Three, two, one, good. We bring it back up, and then we come down, nice and strong, and hold. Three, two, one, keep that pressure, back up. Good, and just relax. Apply a little pressure, hold, three, two, one. Good, back up. And one more, here we go. Down, nice and strong. Hold, three, two, one. Good, back up. All right, now what we're gonna do is just a few chin tucks. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna place your hand right on your chin. We're gonna try and get the muscles that help to activate specifically through the posterior portion of our neck to just turn on and pull that neck backwards. Because as we so often see, definitely myself included, spending so much time on our laptop, we tend to relax these muscles and they let our chin hang forward. So just from here, we're gonna activate and what I want you to do is just keep your fingers where they are and then pull your chin back and hold it. It feels kind of weird. You're making like a double, triple chin. Three, two, one, and then just relax. And then same idea, you're gonna pull in again and hold. Three, two, two, good. I'm really feeling it right through here and pull in again and hold. Three, two, three, good. And we're gonna go for five. Pull in and hold nice and strong. Three, two, four, good. And one more. Pull in nice and strong, good. And three, two, five, good. Now what you're gonna do, and this is the last one, we're gonna pull in and then we're gonna rotate out to the side. And you're gonna hold it, control that range of motion, come back, just rest, relax, and then try and pull in again, hold. Come out to the side. We'll go for five each side. I'm gonna go all to my left side each time and just try and get a little bit deeper and deeper through that range. So from here, pull the neck back, rotate out to the side, hold nice and strong. Three, two, one, little rotation back. And again, if you feel any cramping, it's just your muscles aren't used to this range and that's okay. You wanna go real slow and really controlled through that area. Don't let the cramp build too high where it's intolerable, but it's in. And then if I feel that cramping, maybe I just stop right here. If I can go past, I go past a little bit. Hold, three, two, one. Good, back in and again and pull in. You want to try and prevent shoulder shrugging. And just come up, hold, three, two, one. Good, and back and let's go one more. Pull in, good, and out to the side. Hold, three, two, one, good, we'll bring it back. Now let's switch to the other side. Same idea, pull in, out to the side. Hold, three, two, one. Good, and back, a little rest. And pull in again, hold, and out, 
three, two, one, two, good, back, and again, pull in, out to the side, hold, three, two, one, three, good, back, and good, tuck that neck in, out, hold, three, two, one, four, good, and again, nice and strong, pull in, out to the side, hold, three, two, one, and five. Very, very good. So again, it is important to stretch muscles, but it's also too important to control your ranges of motion in those stretch positions. So cars, an amazing tool to help you maintain range of motion. But when we do stretches like we did, and then we go into that activation sequence, that's where you're really gonna be able to control your end ranges of motion, build your end ranges of motion, and ultimately prevent injury.